comfortable in there. We'll start, let's see where he's at now. Oh, now that he thinks, okay, nothing terrible happened when I went in there. Yeah. Then again, we reward him, let him know that he can still get him out here. Okay. Once he goes in there during the day, just on his own, you can start doing additional things to help him like the crate. Mm -hmm. um, you can start feeding him in the crate. Okay. Literally put his food dish in there. Um, what's also really great is using things that he only gets in the crate. Okay. Some dogs only get the greasy, greasy knuckle bone in the crate. Some dogs only get the greasy pig ear in the crate. Um, there are all kinds of items we'll show you later called puzzle feeders or busy treats where you can smear soft food or kibble mixed with peanut butter or water or whatever, freeze them in these items and put them in the crate and they can work on them for a longer time. You can take the kibble the dog's going to eat for the day, mix it with a little water, a little peanut butter, whatever, freeze it in a Kong, in a little you know tin bucket with some chews stuck in it as well put them in there and let him mess around with it okay so that gives them something where they realize wow there are special things i only get in the crate making it a, a, a reason to go in yeah okay. a special place and again getting them from this stage to actually being able to go and stay in the crate you're going to do incrementally like now what we could do I, I don't want to push the shutting the door with him because he's a worried dog and I don't want to have him backslide because he's doing so well. Yeah. But what you would do at home once he's doing this is shut the door very briefly, toss treats in, open it back up. Okay. It's nice to associate the treats occurring when the door is shut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he thinks, ooh, door shut, good thing. Ooh, great. So door shut, then you add, when he's comfortable with that, you add a few seconds a day first then it'll go, you know, 10 seconds, a minute, two minutes. You just move it forward at as fast or slow a pace as your dog seems to need mm -hmm. to stay comfortable. In okay. The if at any time he gets worried or ceases to go in of his own volition, you've gone too fast. Okay. Back up a little bit. Okay? Until mm -hmm. pretty soon, he'll run in. You can give him his busy bone, his greasy whatever in the crate, shut it, turn the TV on come back in four hours or whatever, mm -hmm. and he'll still be looking at you like, that was great, I took a nap, I had my greasy bone. Okay? Sounds good. Okay. okay. So Nikki, let's talk about as you and um, Sherwood progress to him spending a little more time in the crate, um, or even him offering to go in on his own, let's talk about some great things to leave him in the crate with. Okay. okay? You're not gonna to wanna to let them stay in the crate with anything that could potentially be dangerous to them. Right. There are some chew items, if you know your dog is a really hard, aggressive chewer, some kinds of plastic busy feeders can be damaged by the dog. They could ingest some of the little plastic pieces. Mm -hmm. But if you know your dog is just an average or not much of a chewer, then they're just fine. Okay. Um, we wanna reiterate again, we're never gonna use the crate as any kind of a punishment. There's never, oh gee, he's gonna get a timeout. Uh, no, 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 we want the crate to be his happy place. Got it. Um, we're gonna talk about some crate only items here. We'll talk about the size of the crate too. When you're house training your dog, you want the crate to only be about big enough for the dog to get up, turn around, lay down, be comfortable but not big enough so that the dog can decide, well, I'm gonna potty on this end, mm -hmm. and then I'll be away from it and I'll lay down over here. Got it, okay. What gets the dog to hold it in the crate is that they would basically have to potty in their nest, mm -hmm. okay? So now, since he's already house trained, we're willing to give him this good sized crate that he can move around in, and can be comfortable if you're gone for a few hours. Um, the crate shouldn't be used, you know, for you to like go to a hotel overnight or visit your parent. You know, we're talking maybe up to four hours, um, maybe longer if a dog is is an adult, can hold it for a long time, etc. But a nice rule of thumb is if you're going to have to crate your dog more than about four hours, it would be ideal if you could have somebody pop in, let them out to potty, okay. make sure they have water, um, things like that. Okay, so 
once Sherwood is happily going into the crate and going to spend a few hours there while you're working, some of the great things to leave him with would be a rope chew toy. Okay. Many dogs just love that. Mm -hmm. There's another version of a rope chew toy. Mm -hmm. It's not going to hurt them if they would try to ingest it, but these are really hard chew items. Mm -hmm. Some dogs love a squeaky toy. He likes a squeaky yeah. toy. Okay, <laughs> let's see if we can get his Oh, we got his attention. Now we do want to make sure before I give him the squeaky toy, you do want to make sure it's not the kind of squeaky toy that they're going to rip apart and ingest some of it. Right. If you know your dog simply tears them apart and leaves all the pieces there, great. Let get some really cheap ones, let them tear them apart. This is their place to do their happy thing, right? right. But if there's any question that they might ingest any part of it, then don't use that. Okay. Sure, I do it to squeaky. Here you go. <laughs> Another thing that's fun to do, what we call a busy bucket. You can take any kind of a hard, you know, little container. You could put either some treats, here we use some string cheese. You could put the kibble that he would ordinarily have for either breakfast or supper. You can mix the kibble with water, a little peanut butter, something that will freeze. Mm -hmm. Then take items that he can chew that are okay to be ingested, like take a greasy pig ear, take some of the non-rawhide chews that dogs you know are safe for them to chew and ingest. Mm -hmm. And you can stick them in there and then freeze this. Oh. And then like when no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then bring it out. Now, of course, don't have it be like frosty, so he'll put his tongue on it. And get right. I want to make sure it's wet, you know, wet. On, but you can put that in, and he can work for a couple hours yeah. on getting that stuff out, chewing on it. Mm -hmm. You know, a puzzle feeder is really fun. Uh, something you can take the treats and drop them into the different areas, and they have to work to get them out. Mm -hmm. You can take his kibble. Again, he doesn't have to eat his kibble out of a dish. Mix his kibble with some green cheese, some water, and cram it all in among here. Okay. And then you can freeze it too if you got. Then bring that, say, here's breakfast yeah. in the crate. And that'll take him, it can take some dogs an hour or more. Okay. To get that all out. That would be okay. good. Okay. Just some items to try. Yes.